afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here as we get set for our 14th race of the season for the Pizza Hut X Series. We didn't see them last week as they took an off week during the Darlington race weekend. We didn't see them since Charlotte. Now it's time for them to go racing here in the desert at Phoenix International Raceway for 32 laps on the pole today. A guy we haven't seen in victory lane since last year when he was a three-time winner in the Pizza Hut X Series. Still looking for win number one here in season two, and that is Matthew Dalio, the snap-on Ford Mustang out of Penske Racing. Alongside of him, another driver that's looking for his first win of the season. As a matter of fact, you can say that for the entire top five. Ryan Brommer in the 88, he's looking for career win number one, as is P.J. Williams. Jesse Turner looking for his first win of the season. He's the points leader, but he's still looking for his first trip to victory lane. And Carson Gum rolling off from fifth, also looking for his first win of the season here in the Pizza Deck series. So we'll have to see if maybe track position will be on the side of these drivers starting up near the front, and if one of them might be able to cash in and go to victory lane. We saw in yesterday's Hershey's Cup Series non-charter race, Jonathan Zorlin started on the pole, led every lap, never looked back, and won that event. So we obviously know track position is key at a track like Phoenix. Let's give me the points dance coming into this race. Jesse Turner, we mentioned, is the points leader, but boy, I'll tell you what, the last couple of weeks... The bad luck has gone in the direction of the 39. The good luck has gone in the direction of drivers that are trying to run him down. 13 mere points now separate him from second in the standings, James Shelley. Cole Deaver, with his win two weeks ago, has now moved up to third in the point standings. He is only 27 points out. Daniel Voiles, he is fourth in points. Our winner from Richmond and Elijah Gilbert, two-time winner this season, is now fifth in the stands. The rest of your top ten in points is our Talladega race winner, Christian Merrick Jr. Jordan Lopez, our winner from Rio. Eli Bright is in eighth. Ninth is Benny Watson with Carson Gum completing your top ten. Let's go down trackside and get those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! And obviously today, because we have the Pizza Hut X Series, we're going to have stage racing. Splitting this race up into three stages. The completion of lap 10, the end of stage 1. Completion of lap 20, the end of stage 2. And then a final 12 laps with the checkered flag waving at lap 32. The completion of lap 32 ends our third and final stage. Mentioned how Jesse Turner is trying to hold off James Shelley. Well, you see Turner rolling off there from the fourth position. And you may have seen rolling off pit road in the seventh spot. There he is, that Lily Diabetes. Ford Mustang of James Shelley. So we'll have to watch those two during the course of this race as well as our winner two weeks ago there, our last time out. Cole Deaver rolling off from six of so the top three in points, all starting up inside the top ten here today at a track that, like I said, it seems that track position is a huge, huge factor into whether you're going to have a good finish here today or not. Yesterday's Hershey's Cup Series non-charter race was a wreck, wreck fest to say the least. We'll have to see what happens here today. Still slick racing conditions. Green flag is out. Dalio gets us underway at Phoenix. James Shelley thought about going three wide there with Carson Gump. Thinks better of it. P.J. Williams though has thoughts for the lead. Took a little peek there on that dog leg back straight away. Thinks better of it though. Tucks back in line at least for the moment. And now, might have had to back off a little too much. He's going to lose second to Ryan Brommer, third to Jesse Turner. That outside line gets a good run there off of turn number four. And Ryan Brommer used that to his advantage. He now moves to second. The battle is now on for third. Turner. Jumps it way up to the high line. He's going to go for second off of Ryan Brommer. You can see even into turn three, it's a much better line. And Turner, nice power move there. He will go to second place. Battle now for third between P.J. Williams and Ryan Brommer as Jesse Turner begins to set his sights now on Matthew Dahlia. Surprise turn it in, jump to the outside. Oh, it's going to switch lanes. Crossover to the inside of Matthew Dalio. Is it going to work? Down the front straightaway, drag racing at the line. It's Matthew Dalio leading that lap. Turner may have the preferred inside line here going into turn one and two, though, and he will. Lead change, Jesse Turner to the point. So 
Dalio leads the first lap of three laps of this race, but now Jesse Turner will take the position. Boy, PJ Williams drove it deep into that corner, and there you see him have to lift. Caution's out. He's just gonna hang on to that second spot though, but Jesse Turner will lead us under our first caution of the day. A little better than our Hershey's Cup Series non-charter race here yesterday. We at least got to the completion of lap four before our first yellow. Looks like an incident on the back straightaway brings out this caution. And based on the skid marks, well, I was gonna say it looked like only one car, but there you see more skid marks, so apparently that was not the case. So the caution's out for the first time here today at Phoenix International Raceway. Let's take a look and see what happened. Well, we pretty much had a wreck and then a follow-up wreck. The first incident takes place here up with the 44 of Nick Johnson, the 28 of Noah Ponser. And yeah, I, I think Ponser just kept his nose on that left rear of Nick Johnson. That turns him around and then watch up here the one car of Paul Minnick. He's going to avoid but he gets involved in something else up here. Oh, there you see it. Nicholas Romero is going to get into the side of Jonathan Zorlin. That snaps him loose, and as he's trying to save it, here comes Paul Minnick, and he just finishes the job and spins the fast and L Ford. Minnick's car going to spin down to the apron as well, but everybody else is able to avoid. Wow, nice move there by uh, Wade Brummer and the zero, along with the uh, 19 of Michael Haas, to not have that be worse than it was. And for the most part, just based on what I saw, we basically had three cars spinning around. No real extensive damage on any one of those drivers. Johnson, Zorlin, or Paul Minnick. But uh, obviously Jonathan Zorlin, who won the Hershey's Cup Series non-charter race here yesterday, was looking to get himself to the front. Now well, he's going to have to do a lot more work to get himself to the front now, getting involved in his first caution of the day. Getting ready to go back, green flag racing. Under that last run, Kyle Lynch, our Daytona winner, you see him lined up on the inside line. He is now off the lead lap, had to come to pit road for an unscheduled stop, and uh, was a bit off the pace when he returned to the racetrack. He is up to minimal speed, but that 15 car might have dropped a cylinder or something. But uh, also made a pit stop here under this caution. I don't know if they've gotten it fixed or, or what, but Obviously something not right with that Dodge. Jesse Turner will get ready to get us back under green. We have not yet completed stage one, so they're gonna be racing like crazy up here to try and get this lead. Two laps left to go in the stage. The green flag's back out. Jesse Turner showing the way. Now Kyle Lynch kind of got up to speed, but there you see now as he starts drifting back. Maybe he lost a gear. He might have lost second gear or something. It kind of looked like that was about the point where he started drifting away from Jesse Turner. P.J. Williams having difficulty getting around Kyle Lynch, and that's allowing Jesse Turner the opportunity to kind of go back to what he did at the beginning of the season when he had that huge points lead, and that was just keep getting stage points. Next time by, he'll get 10 valuable stage points with winning the first stage of this race. P.J. Williams still trying to get around Kyle Lynch. Might be able to complete the pass here. Whoa! Contact! Between the 88 of Ryan Brommer and the 12 of Matthew Dalio, they keep it together though, and the first stage is complete. Stage one winner, Jesse Turner, so that's very important for Jesse in the, in the fact that he's trying to regrow his points lead over James Shelley and Cold Ever and others. The bad news is, Cold Ever and James Shelley also got some bonus points. Not as much, but Ever was sixth in that stage, and Shelley was seventh. PJ Williams now finally using the inside line to try and get around Kyle Lynch. Still, Kyle fighting on that outside line. And as this continues on with P.J. Williams not being able to get around the 15, that's allowing Turner to just continue to grow the lead. Now I think Williams has cleared him. So finally clearing the lap car of Kyle Lynch's P.J. Williams. Now he's gonna set his sights on trying to reel back in Jesse Turner's 39. Matthew Dalio now set the task of trying to get by Kyle Lynch. 
Andre Baranskas now moving by Ryan Brommer. Move her to the fourth spot. James Shelley trying to follow in line to get into the top five. Cole Deaver under fire from Carson Gum. That is a battle. Actually, now he's under fire from Eli Bright. Carson Gum drifting back a bit there. As the battle going on right now for the seventh spot. And Eli Bright going to drive it deep down there. Almost got himself a little squirrely trying to do that. Side by side between a couple of former race winners this season. Deaver winning last week at, or I should say two weeks ago at Charlotte. And of course, Eli Bright winning earlier on this season at, I believe it was Texas, I want to say. Was it Texas or was it Kansas? No, Kansas was Shelley. I believe it was Texas. It was indeed. And now they're both going to move by James Shelley, both Eli Bright and Cole Deaver, at least for the moment they're trying to. Battle for second place heating up. P.J. Williams has it. Matthew Dalio wants it. But the problem for these two is it's going on over a full second and a half behind the current race leader, Jesse Turner, who is just four laps away from getting another 10 valuable bonus points. Jesse Turner, a former winner last season, looking for his second win of his career, but first of this season. And one thing that we mentioned uh, at the beginning of the uh, year when Jesse Turner was getting all these points was the fact of, yeah, he's leading the point standings. Yes, he is pulling away from everybody, but he doesn't have a trip to victory lane yet. And in the chase system that we're running this season, you really have to have a win to be able to get into the chase for the championship. As a matter of fact, looking at the top 10 in points coming into this race, seven of the top 10 have a trip to victory lane. The only three that don't, points leader is of uh, Jesse Turner, and then ninth and 10th in the stands coming into this race, Benny Watson and Carson Gump. The other seven, Shelley, Deaver, Voyles, Gilbert, Merrick Jr., Lopez, Bright, they all have at least one win this season. So Jesse Turner trying to check off a slot on his to-do list that being get to victory lane and right now things are looking good for him as he still continues to grow his advantage between himself and second place which is now over 2.6 seconds and this battle for second now heating up and that's going to continue to allow that interval to increase. Dalio going to drive it deep into three on P.J. Williams. Andre Baranskas just riding there, waiting to see which line opens up. P.J. Williams trying to battle back on the high side. Dalio might be clear. He might be able to at least complete the pass here into turn one. No, nope, P.J. Williams gets a nice run through the center and now has to lift and Dalio will clear him. So Dalio, the pole sitter, will now go back to second. Well, as soon as I say that, P.J. Williams again battles back on the high side. Dalio cannot shake P.J. Williams. Got to move up there and try and block P.J. Williams getting that run off the corner. But again, back to the door comes P.J. Williams. So do you think that these drivers have pretty much acquiesced and decided, all right, we're not going to be able to win this race unless something happens to the 39. So we're just going to battle here for second place and see who comes out with the most points between the three of us. Boy, look at that run off the corner P.J. Williams gets. And again, side by side down the front straightaway. And I think P.J. Williams may actually have driven it really hard into that corner. He may actually clear and take second back. He will. Nice job there by the 46 of P.J. Williams not giving up. And using that middle to high line to his advantage, he will take back that second position. Boy, it's a real congestion back here. That slower car, well not slower car, but lap car of Kyle Lynch, and look at this. This is from the seventh spot on back. Quentin Moore, Pete U. London, Eli Bright, John Gilbert all in this mix. As Quentin Moore gonna pass about three cars in a matter of two turns. He just went from the tenth spot all the way up to seventh. Pete U. London right behind him, a couple of rookies. Having good runs here today. Eli Bright seems to be stuck behind Kyle Lynch for the moment. James Shelley hanging on to that sixth position, trying to reel in Ryan Brommer to 
try and get into the top five. Ronskus riding there in fourth, but it is this guy, Jesse Turner, out in front, enjoying the view. There's nobody even within his zip code at the moment. Now, the only thing I would wonder, being a somewhat shorter track in Phoenix, is would we end up having traffic come into play here in these final six and a half laps? Well, he's on the back straightaway. Last car running in the field is Ace Garcia who appears to be just about a full half racetrack ahead of Jesse Turner. So no, traffic will not be a factor in this. Garcia 41st. Wow, look at some of these names down here at the bottom of the list. Ace Garcia there in 41st. He came into this race 13th in points. Christian Merrick Jr. came in the top 10 in points. Sixth in the standings. He is right now running in 40th. Jesse Turner, I bet right now the last thing he wants to see is a caution, because if a caution came out now, we probably would get back to green flag racing. He wouldn't mind seeing a caution come out if we can get to at least, like, the completion of lap 29. Then I think the race would end under yellow. And I don't think pit stops are going to come into play in this one. How ironic, though. We have a wreck-filled race in the Hershey's Cup Series non-charter race here yesterday. And then NSRA officials decide that the Hershey's Cup Series main event race tomorrow is going to be run caution free. We come to this race, one caution flag in the early stages, and after that, green flag all the rest of the way. So now it makes you wonder, are we going to have a wrecked fest tomorrow or not? I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense to me, but... Guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. Jesse Turner crosses the line. That is the completion of lap 28, which I think now puts us in the spectrum of if there were to be a caution coming out at any point during this race all the way to the checkers, race would end under caution. Almost four and a half seconds. Jesse Turner leads over P.J. Williams. Battle for third is on. Pichu London to the inside of Matthew Dalio. Quentin Moore up in this mix as well with Andre Baranska. So London has fought his way into the top 10, now has forced his way ahead into the top five, maybe looking to finish this race out with a podium position finish. And 90 car has come alive in the closing stages, as has Quentin Moore, all over the back of Baranska, looking for the fifth spot. London trying to get that inside line going there through three and four. Gets a little tight off the corner, but keeps it in the throttle. He crossed the line in third that time, but can he get the third position away from Matthew Dalio? That's the question. Going to try and slide up here. I think he's got it. And now he wants second. Trying to take it from Pichu London, but up ahead, Jesse Turner all by himself will see the white flag. Well, I think that maybe, just maybe, those past few weeks of hardship for the 39 may have been well worth it if he's able to have a dominating performance like he has here today at Phoenix. It'll be his first win of the season, second of his career, and he will increase his points lead today. It's a stage sweep, and it's a dominating win for Jesse Turner at Phoenix. London is going to get second. Williams third, Dahlia fourth, and Quentin Moore will snatch the fifth position from Baranskas. Over five seconds, Jesse Turner wins this race over Pichu London. Got out in front, got that clean air, and set sail for the checkers. Turner will get the win here today. And that could very well have been the thing that locks him up in this season's Pizza Hut X Series chase for the championship, no doubt. That's what he needed. Everything else was seeming to be in place. He just needed the trip to victory lane, and you may be looking at one of the 12 drivers that will try battling for the championship later on this season when the Pizza Hut X Series chase begins. So Turner wins, London will get the Rookie of the Race Award with a second place run. That was, I'll tell you what, if he were on 
the back bumper of Jesse Turner. I'm not rightly certain Jesse Turner would have won this race. London had a really strong car in the long run. P.J. Williams will get third. Dalio, the pole sitter, gets a top five and fourth with Quentin Moore there in fifth. It was London and Moore that really had the better long run cars as we saw both fight their way up into the top five late. Baranskas will get sixth. Ryan Brommer in seventh. James Shelley comes away with eighth. So while he's going to lose some ground to Jesse Turner, he's still going to be within striking distance. Eli Bright will get ninth. And John Gilbert completes top ten. Julio Cesar gets 11th. Cole Deaver slipped out of the top 10 to finish in 12th. Charlie Buxton 13th. And how about Jonathan Zorlin? We saw him get involved in the only caution of the day when he got spun out. Battles back for a 14th place finish. He'd be a guy I would watch tomorrow in the Hershey's Cup Series main event because he won the Hershey's Cup Series non-charter race here yesterday. He battles back from a wreck, an early wreck, to finish 14th here today. That driver knows how to get around Phoenix. Carson Gum will get 15th. Alexander Rowe, Kyle Thomas, Benny Watson, Seth Cole, and Wade Brummer. They complete your top 20. Voiles gets 21st. Ponser in 22nd. Lopez, Romero, Minnick, that's your top 25. And then you look on down through the remainder of the finishing results. Some big names down there that we should mention. Elijah Gilbert, two-time winner of the season, 32nd. Uh, Christian Merrick Jr. in 39th. Came into this race, 6th in the points. And Ace Garcia, who dropped out of the top 10 in the points after a poor finish two weeks ago at Charlotte another poor finish here today at Phoenix in 41st position so that is going to do it here today for Phoenix International Raceway for the Pizza Hut X Series tomorrow caution free I didn't say incident free but caution free race for the Hershey Cup Series main event that is going to be a wild one can't wait to see what's going to happen thank you all for tuning today's race if you enjoyed it be sure to give us a like subscribe to Compare the Crew today We've shown your full fishing results. Here are your point stains heading into next week's race. We'll see you tomorrow night for the Hershey's Cup Series race here from Phoenix. As you've been watching a production of the SRA, off-flying racing at its best.